Hello everybody, Kanisha the Creator here, and I just finished watching Turning Red. Love the movie, love May May and her friend and her friends. I wasn't sure how I would like it at first because I thought it was gonna be one of those typical movies where they try and take the usual Disney story and then try and put like some modern stuff in it. But it turns out it actually was a whole when it turns out the movie well the center of the movie was 2002 which i am really happy about so that means it wasn't too modernized but it was modernized in any way i gotta be honest maybe selling out her friends definitely wasn't the worst moment but whoa when her mother turned into that huge beast that was shocking i mean i didn't know when I, I mean, when they said she is huge, I didn't think that they meant that huge. Like, I reacted the same way they did. You mean that huge? That wasn't what I thought you meant? <laughs> that just makes me want a backstory with Mei Mei's mom and just seeing how she reacted the first time her Mei Mei's mom, mom, which is Mei Mei's grandma, reacted when she wanted, you know, to get, get married and everything. <laughs> and like, forcing yourself to be perfect all the time, even though you know you won't be able to amount to it, that story will never get old or more intriguing because there have been so many times where I feel like, where I feel like, feel like if, all, if I could be able to control whether I don't mess up a lot or if I don't just keep messing up a lot or tripping over something or accidentally breaking something, maybe my life would be a whole lot better. You know, trying to be a little bit perfect, but like being perfect, like many times they have shown in TV shows and other things and in real life is not a good life to live. And I'm so glad that May May get to keep the panda and she wasn't forced by like some ancient law to you know, give it up. The rest of her family might have, but she still got to keep it, and I really like that. But again, it's like one of those other movies where you want to see her live her, live the rest of her life enjoying the pan, enjoying her, enjoying, you know, keeping the panda, and like, I want to see the first time she gets a boyfriend and everything, and like how awkward that date is going to be. It just be so much fun to see and I would love to see many friends like um I I'm sorry I barely remember any of their names so forgive me for just calling them Mimi's friends but in the movie they barely said their names so that's one of the reasons I couldn't remember them Mimi's mom I like how she was kind of trying to be understanding but at the same time but at the same time she just Man, she really needed to adapt. <laughs> and like the grandmother coming in, ooh, I thought I'd be so annoyed by that. But you know, I wasn't as annoyed by that as I thought I was going to be. I wish we got to know her aunties a little bit more. But, hey, it still was a good movie. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10. I am definitely going to watch that. And I'm also going to watch the Embrace the Panda video. I don't know what that's about, but I am going to watch that. I'm not going to give you a review on that. I'm only going to give you a review on this movie. Like I said, 10 out of 10. Love it. I I swear. I mean, I mean, seriously, Disney, you're getting hit after hit, and I am loving it. Also, Mimi's, like, amount of stress that she is going through trying to please her mother, but at the same time trying to live her life, it's, like, so real. And I like how we, and I love how kind of realistic this is. I mean, some people definitely, some parents probably are old fashioned and try and live and try and push their life onto their kids. Like, this still, this is reminding me still of Rupert that we, if some of y'all are fans of my channel, y'all already watched my review of Go Live Your Life, Live Your Way, where I was talking about how I got. Uh, I got annoyed by Alvron, Alvron, Ron's, yes, Alvron's dad, trying to force him, 
trying to force him to switch to a different school so he could focus on college. But yeah, that reminded me of that moment with Mimi, with Mimi and her mom. But still, it was a really interesting story and I love how much fun she was having as the red panda and her doing the right thing in the end by keeping the panda. I really enjoyed that. Also, that ritual was so weird. Also, those boys that were for town, they were kind of cute, especially the blonde one. I really like the blonde one's design. <laughs> Turning red was not exactly what I thought, because, <laughs> but you know, I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I watched it. Now, I'm gonna watch like a bunch of reviews about other people saying how good it is and explaining it more in Christianity details. Because to be honest with you, I did not I did not get anything out of that except for a lot of perfectionists in the movie. Perfectionist moments in the movie and obviously a great one and trying to show a great deal of time of how you should build a relationship between a mother and a daughter instead of yet instead of what Mimi and her husband did. But I'm glad in the end her mom understood how she was feeling. It's crazy to believe that Mimi's mom and her grandma went through the same thing that Mimi did with her. You know, obviously her mom. So anyway, yeah. I just wondered, did this happen throughout generation to generation of all of them just trying to make them, their daughter perfect? Because if that's true, I feel so sad for the other. Ooh, I feel so sad for those aunties if that's really how it went. If it just went that they just. If it just went really ridiculous, then never mind. But anyway, yeah. That's my review of Turning Red. I hope y'all watch it. Like I said, 10 out of 10, definitely would recommend. Go watch it if you haven't. But if you have, hey, just comment in the, just, uh, comment down below. Like and subscribe. Bye.